Hi, welcome. Dave McMillan from Shaving Time, uh, another shave video. Um, this week, I'm going to use Marta de Candra. Very expensive, yeah, but it's a solid block, block of soap. Block, block, block of soap. See that? It's not. It's not a crow app. It's not. It's not a cream. It's a solid block, triple made dried soap. It's the curing process. It takes a long time. Agrumes citrus, light lemony, orange, bright, fresh. Everything that you want. Okay. The brush we're using today. It's a sterling flat top badger. Had it for quite a while. There we go. So, hardly anything out of that. I mean, honestly, I've been shaving this for two weeks and it's, it's still full. This will last you a year. If you have it in your rotation, it will outlive you. I'm using the uh, plastic sterling bowl, pennies. I trialed lathering with this last week and I was getting a really thick lather with six wipes of the soap and the brush. I did more this time because I want something which is luxurious for the shave. Um, but you know, I mean, if you're very frugal and you want to do a test, then six turns of the brush and you will have a lather. Right, okay, we haven't done much here. Look at this, yeah? That's, that's not too shabby. Okay, now I'm gonna put that down because I'm gonna run this mentholated sterling pre-shave soap over my face. Just to get the bristles. Nice and worked out. There we go. I have been trying to grow moustache. Well, I don't try, I do, but uh, it's not the thickest and it never has been the most amazing moustache, so I get fed up after a few weeks. But, uh, you know, you do these things when you're a man. Oh, I can feel the mental kicking in. And then I've got this lovely smell of uh, citrus on top of it. It's very nice. As I say, I've been shaving with this quite a lot. Um, but you know, you have favourites for a little while and then you go back to other favourites that take over. I mean, look at that. Oh, goodness me. Okay, I think that will do the trick. So, um, the razor I'm going to be using is the uh, Goodfellow Smile Italico Open Comb. It's got a new persona in there. Okay, it's uh, I don't think it's aggressive, but I think it's a it, it works in both situations of being unshaven for a few days or unshaven for one day. It works the trick. It does the job. Well, you guys know today I've been nowhere, so I've actually been nowhere for uh, three months now. Not absolutely nowhere. I mean, to the garage. I filled the car up with petrol last week. That should do us for another three months. Did I drop, I drop, you know, click and drop thing at Sainsbury's so we have food in the fridge. 
wine in the rack, vodka in the drinks cabinet. Having watched the news this week, uh, quite a lot, I've decided that I need to change my name to something more popular, so I'm going to go for uh, Dominic. I may stay with Macmillan and not change it to Cummings. Right, do I keep the tash? Do I take the tash off? I think we'll keep the tash on. Right, so I'm going to tip the brush tips in some water and do a little bit of spinning in this bowl. I mean, honestly, it's just mental. I'm not going to go again. I think the wonderful thing about shaving when you haven't shaved for a few days, it's so easy to take it off. It's just, just glorious, isn't it? I shave my head every second day. I had a bad cut last week, so I couldn't shave for about a week. That's healed up quite nicely now. And we're going back with shaving. I've ordered a leaf razor. You seen the leaf razor guys? It takes, it's a, uh, it's shaped like a kind of a Harry's. But it, and it takes three double-edged blades snapped in half. Uh, you can decide how aggressive or mild the shave is, and you have to apply pressure. Can you imagine applying pressure, a double edge? That's probably what I did last week when I cut my head. It's coming off very easily. Very nice razor. It's very smooth. I tend to go across, no, down the chin, cross the chin, cross back the way, and do more passes on my chin than the rest of my face, to be honest. Second pass, gentlemen and ladies. Oh, it's a quick clean up. Now, oh. where do we go now? Let's see, we have, oh, very smooth. I mean, you can still feel the bristles going up the way. I'm, I'm not going to do a third pass today. What I will do is just tidy up the chin a little bit. Again, we have plenty. I mean, look at this stuff. As I say, I just want to get a clean chin line. And to do that, I need to do another pass. Everyone has different methods of shaving. And this is mine. That's good. I've got a little weeper right there. Talico, hope and clone. Wonderful.
So, there we have it. Two pass shave on the neck and the cheeks. Three, four pass shave on the chin. Baby's plumb smooth. Now, what do you do after that? This is what you do. You give it alum. You make your face slightly wet. You take the alum and you rub it everywhere. That's, that kills any bacteria, that seals the pores, closes the pores again, you know, and any nicks you've got, chances are it will stop the bleeding. And these weepers, as they're called, will not stand a chance. Okay? Alum. Use it as deodorant in the Middle East. So, how's it? Dab after that, probably should let it dry, but you know. Now, the soap, let's have a look. So, what have we got here? I mean, I turned the brush probably about 12 times. We've had two passes on the face. I mean, there's the bowl, there's the brush, there's the soap, water, and all. So, I mean, I think it speaks for itself, doesn't it really? Okay, now I've made a complete mess of the sink. How are we going to finish with this? I think we were going to finish with... So I don't have, obviously, a scent that matches entirely the Agrumis. Uh, the uh, Marta de Candro Agrumi. But I do have uh, Bignoli, Saponifica, Bignoli, Agrumi del Mediterraneo. Straight out of the box. So, there we go. Let's try a bit of shake. I think you should always shake these things, you know. Give it a bit of a shake. Now, straight on the face? I don't think so, because I've got one of these. Okay, they're not the prettiest things in the world. And they have to cut the internal um, tube down and the external tube to make it fit. Okay, but once you've got it in there, you can adjust the top and you can just go... And there you go, and the tube came off. That's a technical hitch there, guys. That wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> so we'll do it a bit more. Yeah, they are good, contrary to just what happened. <coughs> right. Right, so, one more thing. I think possibly that we need a little bit balm and I have some unscented uh, stunning balm here we don't want to confuse the scents you don't need much and I've just put too much on my hand so we've got this wonderfully luxurious hand cream <laughs> that once we've rubbed on our hands we're gonna rub everywhere else tiny bit of this at night will ensure your face is lovely and soft in the morning. Wise choice, arms, elbows, legs, torso. Yeah, all smooth. Didn't use too much at all, really. Right guys, that's this. Thank you uh, for joining me this evening uh, while I messed up my spring. Yeah, they're very good, believe me. I'm not talking rubbish. So, Martin de Candra. Possibly the best soap in the world. Definitely the longest lasting soap in the world. And it does give an amazing lather. I've done this with synthetics and badgers. And, you know, the proof is in the pudding, as they say, as he dips out the sink to wash it. So, a grume, Martin de Candra. The razor was the Italico by Goodfellas. It is Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that handle. I mean, it's just unusual, wonderful. And the open comb, you know, there's no different. Well, there is a difference between an open comb and a closed comb. This is not too aggressive, but it will take off a weak shave without any problem. And you can then shave the next day without needing a blood transfusion. It's a very nice, chunky, heavy, solid razor. 
We finished off with the uh, aftershave by Big Noli with the spray. Okay, these things mean you don't use too much. You mean you get good coverage, it's longer lasting scent, you don't spill any on the floor, you don't pour any down the sink. It's a good investment, guys. But you don't drop it on the floor, £3.50. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Wonderful shaving for you again. Try and do it sometime soon. I'm Dave McMillan, the company's called shavingtime.co.uk. We've got a good stock, good range. We have aftershaves coming in in a few days. Weepers. If I've got it, you can have it. Thanks, guys.